check this shit out. She literally picked it up and was about to walk off with it. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, excuse me, that's my bag. But I turn around for a split second and my bag, the one I have right here, is in her hand. Like I literally saw her pick it up and put it in her hand. And I'm thinking... Hi, Lena. Why does my camera still look there? I'm on 12. I'm on 12. You're not a size 12, you're 11. But you guys, look at these shoes. The heel. Oh my god. And they're a size 10. They're like $10. These are cute. I would get these for her, but let's be realistic. Where is she going to wear them? I saw, I saw. Throw them cowboy They got some really cute shoes here that I want to get Can you. I <gasps> No, babe, I don't need you with the camera. These, look at the price of these. Six dollars. I definitely have to get you a pair. I don't know which ones, though. I don't know which ones, Lena girl. Look at all these sneakers. I love Walmart. Right? Come here. There she goes. We came here looking for cowboy boots. But, of course, I think you have more than enough flip-flops. No matter how cute they are, you have so many flip-flops, it's not even... Yeah, those look crazy now, those trolls, but I'm not going to get another pair right now. Flip-flops are a dime a dozen. You can buy them anywhere. It's not... I'm not really big on spending a lot or spending on those, but I think these kind of shoes right here are adorable and they're comfortable. And all of these are so cute. I think it would be foolish for me not to get a pair of those. And I kind of like these colors because they're neutral. Oh my god, look at this price. Look at this price. Not like that. <laughs> she said, I love it. I love it. Mama. I like this though because you can connect it to your phone and play like whatever. Yeah, but this can be so low though. See? And she fakes you up. If you are a toy. What about this? Can I Wait, wait. <laughs> what a performance. <laughs> Stay cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. In summer. Why, oh, why did I take a walk down this aisle with Lena Girl? Right? Right, Lena Girl? Um, um. Stop, Ooh, they have working. Tiana and she's actually wearing the blue dress. I'm Remember Elena? I'm oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They, they have her sister. Yeah. The blue one. Yep, they ah. sure And they got Belle up there in her blue dress. Wow. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. What are you working on? Okay. Nice. The lighting is dark over here, right? Look how light, I mean, look how dark the lighting is. So much darker. Lena, look at me real quick. I think it's the lighting, you guys. Yeah. I should probably should have sat over there where I could actually see. But anyway, we're at McDonald's. Lena's eating french fries with chicken nuggets. And... <laughs> which one is this? I bought it. Which one is it? I just asked them for it and I paid for it. So I didn't get you a Happy Meal, but I didn't know you could buy them separately. There's only like a dollar, dollar eight, one oh eight. Oh no, because I got my sweet tea. The lighting right here is horrible. What does it taste like? Good or nasty? I right, put your socks on. See Lena, hold on. There's Lena, say hi. Wave, Lena. Wave, sweet tea. <laughs> you wave. Alright guys, anyway, I was going to end the vlog out here because I'm actually outside the hospital.
we just walked we just left um what do you call it i hate vlogging people just staring at you like as you can see the street is right here and there's like cars there and they just look at you like mega weird but whatever anyway i decided to end the vlog out here come here lena because the lighting's actually good and i don't have to be stared at come here <laughs> So weird like i was trying to vlog inside of mcdonald's i was trying to um, vlog inside mcdonald's but there are other people there with their kids and i'm like funny like that like i don't want to film other people's kids without their permission and i don't feel like explaining like you know when you're already pissed off about your day you don't want to talk like oh yeah i'm a youtuber i'm vlogging whatever blah 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 i don't want to do it so i was just like screw it i'll wait till i get outside so i took lena to play inside the little play area thingy get that out your mouth you're gonna choke if you fall I took Lena to play inside the play area. Lena, no, I'm crossing the street. Let's go. Um, hold on, you guys. We got the light. Give me your hand. Hold this. I'm not putting my camera away. I'm just going to cross the street like this. <laughs> cross the street like this. And you guys are going to look at Lena as we cross the street. Isn't that lovely? But anyway, I feel like I needed to talk to you guys because I didn't, um, well, chopped off half of my head in that last shot. I didn't exactly... What is, I'm you can't think. see your eyeballs. I can see my eyeballs like this. I didn't exactly film that much inside of Walmart, which is where we were at, because I was looking for the cowboy boots for Lena, which was a failed attempt because they totally lied. I checked online and they said that they had them, and when I got there, they did not have them. So that kind of pissed me off. And then when I got out of the store, no, as I was checking out, I realized I had left my bank card inside the outside ATM of one of the banks. So... I called the bank back, realizing it was gone, and I had my other debit card with me or whatever, but um, the other one I left there. So when I called the ATM, I mean, I called the bank, I called the ATM, what the heck? When I called the bank, their response is like, oh, if you don't go and pick it up by a certain time or whatever, it, the, the ATM itself just shreds the card. So that it's sucks. It means it breaks the card up so nobody can steal it and use it. So that's good, yeah, but at the same time, it's not good because I can't get another one unless I'm in Jersey. Like, they're not gonna, because the problem is they would be able, if I call them, they would be able to ship another one out to us, but we're moving from where we live right now, which is in Philadelphia, but we're moving outside of Philadelphia to Lower Bucks County, and I need the card now. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm not gonna wait a week at least for them to mail out a new card. So I'm like, the quickest thing for me to do is just spend... $20 round trip on a train and go into New Jersey to get it. So that is. Hold on, you guys, because we're crossing the street. Okay, guys, I forgot where I was left off at, but yeah, I think um what I was saying is I we. I do small laundry. What is going on is we have to go to Jersey tomorrow, so we're gonna be on the shore just for like, I say like four hours at the max. We're gonna get up early, take the train out there um they can give me a new card right then and there you know the bank card all i have to do is cancel the card which i did and they will issue me issue me a new card right then and there and then that works out because also i got an email from fafsa that they didn't get my i don't know something they need my signatures and then my previous school that i went to in jersey also um i have to request a transcript so i cannot have to take certain classes this semester or whatever but the problem with that is, I don't know how, somehow I managed to get locked out of my student account. I, I don't know. Long story short, I can't get back in it. And the only way for me to request a transcript is to print out the transcript papers. So I don't know. I'm going to have to go to the library there, print out the transcript papers. Lena, did you see when that lady tried to take my bag at, at the store? Huh? Yeah. And what did she say? She said, no, that's not your bag. Yes, yeah, some, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I don't even know if that made the vlog or not, because Lena was filming at the time. It might or it might not. I don't know, but listen to this. I feel like I need to sit down to tell you guys this. So anyway, I'm in Walmart, like, shopping for, because I've seen these shorts. These short shorts are, like, Daisy Duke-ish. Um jean shorts but they have like they come with a belt on them so i'm like oh these are cute i might want to get these but then again you guys know i'm not the skinniest person and let's be real i have an ass so i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna wear these because i don't like to wear jean shorts that you got to keep pulling down as you walk so the girl's like yeah blah, blah, blah. so she's looking for jeans too i turn my back for a second now mind you lena's sitting in the shopping cart and she has a camera so she's like filming she's talking to the camera whatever so 
Ali, you all right? Mm -hmm. She almost fell. So anyway, I, I turn around for a split second and my bag, the one I have right here, is in her hand. Like I literally saw her pick it up and put it in her hand. And I'm thinking she's doing it to tell me like, girl, get your bag and don't leave it there. Because I had somebody do that to me before, but not like try to take it. Like they literally just picked it up. They literally, sorry, I'm holding it down. They literally just picked it up and were like, oh, this is yours. Be careful. Don't leave it. But that's not what she did. Check this shit out. She literally picked it up and was about to walk off with it. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, excuse me, that's my bag. Mind you, we were literally just talking, like having a normal conversation. So that just goes to see how shady and crazy people can be. That kind of shit would not happen on the Jersey Shore. But, um, unless you were in like a bad area. But I wasn't even in a bad area in Philly. I was like in the normal part. My God. So anyway... I told her it was mine and she didn't say it wasn't like she didn't say no it's not or anything like that but I was like it's mine I can definitely show you my ID and everything that's my bag and I guess she realized like wait a minute we're in Walmart there's like a bajillion security cameras she could go to jail like she could go to prison for that if I had a yelled like hey she's taking my bag security would have grabbed her they would have seen her taking my bag out of my shopping cart on camera and she would have been thrown in jail for that wait 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 all right come on sorry guys we're crossing the street <laughs> But, um, she had said that she had, like, six kids or seven kids or something. So I knew she probably reconsidered right then and there. Like, listen, it's not worth prison. And I'm glad she didn't because even though, even we were, even, even though we were in the middle of the store, like, there's no way she would have made it. Even if she had a ran, there's no way she would have made it out the store. Still, that kind of thing, like, it's just crazy. Like, people are just shady as hell. Look at this bike, though. Isn't that nice? That's what I need in my life, y'all. And, and she said, can I see your card? And yeah, said, I was like, that's my ID. I can show you my ID. So then she went along with it for a second. She's like, yeah, let me see your ID. Then she started walking off. Like, she just gave me the bag and started walking off. So that's when I think she considered, like, hold on, this is Walmart. There's a million cameras. There's people around. If this lady yells and says I took her bag, which there's a million securities, she would have most likely been spending some time in jail. Which, I have never heard anything too lovely about jail, so I don't know. But that's crazy. So today's been a crazy day. I just got out, the, I, when I got out of the store, I was so stressed out over losing my card that I didn't even go to Famous Footwear, which was right across from Walmart, to see if they had the cowboy boots. Because uh, I'm just like, listen, Leonard, like, I know you guys might be like, it's not that serious, but it is because she wears flip-flops, like, as she has on now. But they're not the type of shoes I like to her to wear as much. She can't really play. They go in the playground. They don't grip well and cowboy boots if you don't wear them you don't understand it's a lifestyle man like i don't know how to explain it it's different it's a whole different lifestyle it's like you can wear them if it's raining you can wear them no matter what the weather is like lena girl needs her cowboy boots hold on babe look at lena are you grumpy well because of feet <laughs> okay guys so anyway really quick i wanted to run through everything that i did get and show you guys and then end the vlog first things first obviously then i got some underwear i'm not gonna like come on now who wants to see a little kid's underwear it's creepy but anyway these were how much were these where's the price on the tag just throw them in the fence i think these were six dollars i'm pretty sure it said so but look how many one two three four five six seven Oh my god. And I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I took, like, <laughs> Lena, we took the ones that we didn't want and switched them, right? Like, I was. this one and the purple one. Yeah, like, they had them, like, all different variations, but some of them had, like, colors that I didn't need. So I was like, you know what? Taking that off, gonna put the different one on it. You took yellow. <laughs> I did. I took yellow. I took this off of a different one, put it on here, put this one on here from a different one. So she has, like, this. Look how pretty that is. Focus, focus. This peach and pink and whatever bright blue peach yellow dark blue that's a royal blue a lavender and of course white the only color we really need now is some kind of, we have a green she has a big green bow but we don't have red so we need bright red and bright orange bow this bow is huge it's not a jojo bow we really Lena really wants one and i thought they had them but i guess walmart doesn't carry her brand and these were 250 but it has a ponytail holder. So it's like a cheerleading bow. Those of you that were cheerleaders, you know what I'm talking about. We used to wear these and put them right on the top, like, the center of our head. Like, go team, go. Look at the wall over there, guys. Look at that. Hmm. That right there is exhibit A on why we are moving very soon. The place is falling apart. Number three. Is this the third thing I'm showing you guys? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So this is the fourth thing I'm showing you guys. These bows were... 
Again, where's the price tag? I don't know what the price tag is. I think these were two fifty two. These are also these are headbands. But Lena got these because they didn't have them with the clippy back, and she complains that the regular headbands that go around like this, right here and right here where they go on your head, give her a headache. And I don't blame her because they used to give me headaches too when I was a kid. So these, I'll either leave them on the headband like this, which is lace and pretty. I mean, they are her size. You can see how big the headband is when it opens. It's not like it's for a baby. It's actually for a child her age. But if she decides she doesn't like them, I'll pull this off and put like a bobby pin or a clippy behind it. Same thing with this one. If she doesn't want it in the ponytail part, I'll just pull that apart and put it on a clippy so she can wear them. But again, this is a huge pink one, Barbie pink, and then you've got pale pink. So, $2. Yeah. Next thing I got, you guys are going to laugh at this, but don't judge me. I got these rings. Now, the camera will focus. This is why I need to get a real good vlogging camera. Look at this. Y'all can't even... I'm going to have to enter pictures and be phony and like take a picture and so you guys can like see what they look like good, really good because this is not focusing. Honey. But anyway, I got these rings. They're $4, and there's four of them. And this one is really big. I don't think I'm ever going to wear that. That's just extra. But it's, um, looks like a diamond. This one is the one I'm going to wear. It's pretty, and it's got a little diamond. Then they've got this one, which is just too extra. I'm not that kind of person. Even if it was real, I wouldn't wear these two. That's just too big. And they got this one that looks like the plain band. Like, these go together. The reason why I got these is because I'm tired of getting hit on. Like, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Like, hold on. I think you guys know I am, and I feel more comfortable as a person when I take her places, and I go, and I'm around other moms, and they all have their rings on and stuff like that, even though I don't have a husband because guys ain't shit in this generation. That's just the way it is. At least I can pretend I do, right? Right, Lena? Mm -hmm. So, next thing I'm going to show you guys is this Johnson's Kid Easy Grip Sudsing Bar. I will let you know how this works out. They had, oh my god, you guys, I'm so sad. They had so much stuff on sale, right, Lena? And the, the washing up stuff. And the problem is, whoops, the problem is Lena has eczema, like really bad eczema. That any, hold on, Lena, too. any little thing I use on her breaks her skin out. They had this huge, like, you see the size of my sweet tea? They had a Peppa Pig body wash for $3 that big, right? And they had trolls, and they had, like, bath bombs for little kids, and everything on sale at Walmart. So if you have a kid and you didn't know this, go to Walmart, because all of that stuff is on sale right now. I, it's just crazy. Like So anyway, what we did end up getting is this Johnson's Kids Easy Grip Sudsing Bar. It's Johnson & Johnson, and it's Watermelon Explosion. I've never seen it before, but supposedly the soap is actually inside this little mesh thing. So it looks cute, and it smells, smell it. It smells like a Jolly Rancher, so I'm hoping... I thought it was going to have it to what inside. <laughs> it's really cute, and it's supposedly natural, so it's not supposed to, like, mess up her skin. It was really... I'm ridiculous. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. Sometimes I just be eating stuff just to eat it. Like, I had an Oreo frappe thingy just now at McDonald's. Like, get your life back. Anyway, the last thing I got, Lennon's holding it up, is this lumberjack looking... What do you call this? Checkers? Hunt... It's not... Can't, it's not, like, hunting something, but, like, thermals are always like that. I mean, people are in, like, the forest and lumberjackish, okay? Like, it looks like a lumberjack. I don't know what to call that design, but I got that tank top, and I think it was really cute. It was, like, $3, so that was the last, I don't know. I like myself in red, and it's black, which is my favorite color. So I decided to get that. Really, Lena? Mm -hmm. I'm really pissed, guys, because I really wanted those jean shorts with the big buckle on them with some cowboy boots, but then those jean shorts, like, the way they're cut, they're cut, like, if I, you were to hold them up, they're cut so that they're, like, barely right under your butt cheek and you can't really wear shorts like that unless you have no ass because if you have a butt as soon as you walk you're going to be like pulling them down pulling them down because they're going to rise up and that's what they're supposed to do they're daisy dukes but i don't know wearing daisy dukes as a mom something about that just don't seem right to me but um anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow for our next vlog when we're down shore hopefully we will find some cowboy boots and i'll get my situation situated i'll get my card and get everything situated with my school so i can send them my transcript and do all that good stuff and get ready for school because my stuff has to be in by Ju july 11th in order to be in class for the fall semester i was supposed to go to college this summer but that didn't happen because of all that happened here and then i'll do another life update on why we're moving and where we're moving and everything like that and I think in spite of all that happened, I'm maintaining my happy demeanor as best as I can. So anyway, that's it for this video. As yeah. usual, I'm sending you guys love and light and positivity. And stay silly. And stay cool. <laughs> Bye, guys. Alright, guys, my bad. I completely forgot to show you, like, my favorite thing I got in this haul. Uh. So, yeah, I'm back again. Ha! <laughs>
guess who's back? Alright, um, this is a bathing suit I got for Lena, girl. Take it in. It's a one-piece. This is the first time. Stop, Lena. This is the first time I ever, ever got her, like, a one-piece. This is $11.74, $12. Isn't it cute, though? It's camo. And it's got the pink at the top, and it's got the missing sleeve, and the lace, and honey, yes. And it is a size 4-5. I told you, Lena, girl, is small. It's popping, though. I love it, Lena. And I really wanted to get myself a shirt like this, but I guess it's not that time of year, so I was lucky to find this, because Walmart usually has, like, a ton of hunting camo type stuff out, especially soon as August, September hits, you know, which I love because they're cheaper than Bass Pro Shops, because Bass Pro Shops is a little crazy with their prices, but whatever, this is super cute. And we're going to bring it with us tomorrow because you guys know, like I said, I have to go down shore tomorrow anyway. So I don't know if she'll go on, go to the beach or anything like that. I'm not trying to make a beach day out of it. I'm just trying to get my business handled. But.